St. Mary's is expected to win their first West Coast Conference title this year. Even though they have a championship drought that dates back to 2012, one of the Gales players knows all about winning in chess. They say a lot of times it's probably the reason I have no friends, but um, <laughs> I mean, I, I just kind of ignore it, you know, like see me on the chessboard, but. There's nothing new about trash talk at the St. Mary's basketball practice, but these Gales are woofing about some new moves. Some teams uh, shoot pool, play ping pong in their in their locker room. We play chess. All because of sophomore point guard Jordan Ford, who once wanted to become Bobby Fisher long before he thought about emulating Steph Curry. The nickname I had when I was a chess player was yeah. the Storm, because because I was just always on the attack. A nickname given to him by his dad when he introduced Jordan to the game when Jordan was barely out of diapers. I started playing adults when I was four years old, um, and what they would do is they would, I was too short to see over the table, so they'd actually have to put two or three chairs for me to sit on, and it was, it was weird because I was actually beating these adults, and it's kind of intimidating for a four-year-old to be beating grown men. You're probably too young to remember what they said to you, or do you remember what they said to you? No, I actually, I actually don't remember. I was probably worried about, uh, getting Skittles after after the chess match, so I actually don't remember. Skittles eventually took a backseat to trophies. The kid out of Sacramento captured two of them, winning a pair of state titles by the time he was in the second grade. But it was the match he lost that he remembers most. He was probably like the number one ranked player in the country from San Francisco. I still remember his name. His name was Nicholas Nip, and he actually beat uh, Bobby Fischer's record to be, become the youngest master of all time. Ford says he reached as high as 10th in the nation for his age group. I was working 30 hours a week when I was five years old. I didn't even go to preschool, I just played chess instead. And I probably work harder in chess than I did in basketball, which is pretty crazy. Instead of becoming a master on the board, Ford chose to master the court. Twice the player of the year in high school, he's now Randy Bennett's starting pawn uh, point guard. George's a basketball player. He's a baller. Like, when I hear chess player, I'm like, this guy's a chess player? He's a baller. This guy's a straight baller. I think it's the weirdest switch ever, like, going from chess to basketball. But Ford's competitive engine still runs hot in the St. Mary's locker room. The first thing you do is you tell everyone else that you beat him, just so. And they all say, nah, you're lying. Like, you didn't actually beat him. We were, like, two-time state champion, whatever. That was the second grade. We'll, we'll take a shot at you. And then he backed it up. But for the most part, Ford keeps them all in. Checkmate. <laughs> and we'll check out uh, after this timeout.